everybody and welcome back to another video. So guys, on this video um, we're going to be, um, it's going to be like one of the, the vlog style videos. First and foremost though, I've got a bit of an apology to make. I'm really sorry for being like completely absent of content for the past like, well for most of October and the most of uh, November. Uh, it's, it's mainly because uh, <laughs> I've been so busy getting stuff ready with basically Long story short, um, my wife is upgrading her business. She's going from childminding to opening up her own preschool. That requires a lot of work. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of things like building, like uh, painting, and just generally just knocking walls down, building walls. I built a kitchen. Uh, yeah, so I've just been doing all kinds of DIY stuff, and I've just not had the time or energy to do anything war game related, but I did. I did manage to pick up the Orc Codex, yes I did. Now, I have a lot of Orc stuff, and I actually have forgotten what I have. So behind me, so here, so there's a box of Orc stuff, 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 and there is a box of Orc stuff. So, what we are going to be doing guys, we are going to be going to the Stormforge today, because I physically do not have the room in this house to get all this stuff out, to take an inventory of it. And I'm also going to be making a really, really cool list. And you're also, I might even do a little army showcase as well, perhaps, if I have the chance. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so uh, we're going to uh, go to Stormforge. I need to carry all these boxes downstairs to my car, so join me in a second. Right guys, we have arrived at the Stormforge and now it's time to start the long and arduous task of getting all that stuff, that's all those boxes and my codex up the stairs and into the building. So join me in a second. Hello, hello everybody. So we have made it to the Stormforge. As you can see, uh, I'm here and um, yeah, I've uh, decided to uh, get all my uh, orc stuff out on the table. It took a while. And I've actually calculated the points, as you guys can see, there it all is. I'm going to take you through some of it in just a second. To be fair, I'd quite forgotten some of the stuff that I actually have in this list. I, uh, I completely forgot about my mech guns. Really didn't, really couldn't remember that I had them in. Uh, I forgot that I had a Gorkanut. You know, you, you, you tend not to forget some of that big, but, but I did. I forgot I had all these tanks. There's almost 2,000 points of, of gun wagons here, which is insane. But I'll, um, I'll, I'll go through uh, and just do a little bit of a pan over and we'll just, uh, we'll just tell you what some of the stuff is and then um, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll show you guys the, uh, the category the list that I have which has got all the points values on it. I'm not going to go through all the points, I'll just tell you the total points. It's quite a bit, it's quite the wag. Let's anyway, let's go on with looking at some of the units anyway. Right guys, so you can definitely see here that I actually had to do it on one of these massive gaming tables here at Stormforge. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go from left to right, um, uh, front to back. Uh, so, um, starting off this, I have a rather large mob of about 25 uh, Slugger Boys. Uh, I've then got a mixed mob here of um, Ard Boys slash, that's a slash, um, Scar Boys, which I want to prefer. And these are a mixture of the Cromlech uh, robots as well as some... Um, orc boys with mechanical arms and stuff, so they're going to be my hard boys slash scar boys. Um, we then move on here to this fantastically large dread mob. We've got uh, about 15 kilo uh, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 kilo cans. I think I've got a few more at home as well, uh, and three uh, death dreads just chilling out there in the back. We've got uh, my looters here, which are just done some, some slight conversions. We've got a Morkinaut going on there, just uh, chilling in the background, saying hello. Uh, we've got some mega knobs uh, right here. Just uh, I wanted a bit more of a feel with armor plates. 
uh, rather than like the whole mechanicalness, like they just start strapped armor plates to them, so we did that. Uh, we got so a nice model Gretchen with um, one of my favorite models ever produced by Games Workshop. We got the old Zod Grod Wart Snagger, and um, he's really, really cool. And another one of my very favorite models, a classic Gobbler. He's the uh, the attack squig for uh, Zod Grod. Not in game, the two from, the ones from, from Fantasy from 40k, obviously. Um, you then got a massive unit of about uh, 20, again, about 25, 30 shooter boys going on here, uh, which is quite good. Um, that's uh, a lot of uh, Assault 3 weaponry going on, so I'm pretty happy, happy about that. We then got a absolutely insane tank battalion going on over here, um, with many different shapes and sizes, chassis, models, patterns of tanks, um, some with varying uh, paint jobs, some with differing paint jobs, but nonetheless, we got some very roly killy crushy death going on here. Uh, moving on is two units that you guys actually haven't seen yet. These are my newest things that are, are, are the addition to my army. My two, um, what's it, Snaz, Snaz Boom Dacker wagons, or Snaz Dacker Boom wagons, however you want to call it. Boom Dacker Snaz wagons. Bo wagons, Dan says, from the uh, from the counter over there. Thank you. Thank you for the clarification. Always have self. No problem. Uh, we then got my long forgotten uh, gun battery. Did have an additional tractor cannon, but I believe that I dropped it down the side of my computer and it went missing into the void. But these are the lovely Forgery World. Um, out of production um, smasher guns from Forge World, and then I've got my little orc waver in the front. Look at this guy here. He's just he's just happy to be in, in the fight, really. He's just like I'm just gonna sit behind here until these guns went to fire. I've got my little stick, my little waving stick, and I'm just gonna fire wave it around until I went to shoot the guns. Um, moving on to the background, we got uh, some uh, HQ units. We got uh, Big Mac with um, a little, uh, teleporter blaster. We got a war boss. We got Gobdolf to get. He's my weird boy. We got my big uh, creation, which is uh, I don't know whether it's going to be a star. It's probably going to be. A, it's definitely going to be a mega dread. Mecha dread, uh, should I say? We got another mecha dread there. I call that one the Burninator 5000 because it just has four scorches. We've got the old um, Snaz Boom Dacker wagon, as I like to call that one, because it's got a lot of Dacker to it. It is indeed a wagon. Uh, new war boss. We've got my Orc Patchy um, helicopter, which is uh, going to be just a, a regular Dacker jet. And then in the background here, we have the Pièce de Résistance. We have the uh, biggest stomper that I have ever made. Um, I was thinking of ripping this apart and rebuilding it, but I decided not to, because I really actually do quite like it now that I've seen it again. It's been in a box for about six years. Uh, but anyway guys, um, that has been the lowdown, very quick, very very brief lowdown on the Orc uh, army. And um, right now, I'm going to actually uh, get taught how to play uh, some uh, some Keyforge with uh, with Dan right here. You are, it's true. Indeed, indeed. So I'm going to go and uh, see what that's like. So um, thank you, uh, and join me in a second.